Quantum Emotion is a Canadian quantum cybersecurity firm specializing in quantum random number generator, QRNG technology for secure communications. Its patented hardware exploits quantum mechanical effects, namely electron tunneling, to produce true randomness aimed at protecting cryptographic keys and data against future quantum computing threats. What are we doing here is quantum cybersecurity. We're using the same techniques actually that potentially fight quantum computers. Mm -hmm. You need to fight quantum by quantum. In the past month, quantum emotion is up an eye-popping 100%. In the past six months, 272%. And over the past year of trading up over 1,000%. It made its all-time high in the stock chart. So the question now, is this all hype? or are investors moving in on what they see as a cybersecurity play for the future? In this video, we're going to explore the science, the investment opportunity, including the risks and challenges, and the speculative nature of this investment, and then we'll tie it all together. Let's dive in. Let's spend a bit of time and attempt to understand the underlying science of what happens when a probability wave of an electron reaches a barrier in the tunneling that happens. The amplitude of the wave function decreases exponentially. But the wave function doesn't actually reach an amplitude of zero. Now, Let's consider a new scenario where the barrier is shorter in length. As before, the amplitude of the wave function will decay inside the barrier. But since the wave function doesn't reach an amplitude of zero, the wave function can exit the barrier on the other side. So the randomness of the probability wave of the electron is how this QRNG technology that quantum emotion has is working. They're essentially, that random output is giving them true random, which makes it much more secure. Suppose you drop a ball down the side of the valley. Classical wisdom tells us that when the ball rolls up the hill on the other side, it can't go any higher than the height from which you dropped it. That's conservation of energy. Even if there's a nice big long slope to roll down on the far side of the mountain, the ball just can't get there unless you give it enough energy to get over the barrier. But in quantum mechanics, things work a little differently. You see, the quantum world is probabilistic. So if you release a particle in a valley, chances are the next time you see it, it'll still be somewhere in that valley. But if there's a nice big slope to roll down on the far side of the mountain, well, that's a place the particle would really like to be. And it turns out there's also a small chance that's where you'll find it. This barrier is similar to the last video we watched, but basically the vast majority of the time, 99.9999% of the time, the waveform is going to be here. But if we pretend that there's just a very small barrier here, then what we're seeing is basically that waveform and then just a very small amount of that wave is getting through that barrier and that is where the randomness comes from in the tunneling at picking random numbers every part of a computer is designed to be predictable and follow logical patterns you put the same numbers in you're going to get the same numbers out which is a problem because all modern encryption including that padlock up in your browser that tells you that you're safe all of that relies on big properly random numbers if you can somehow predict those numbers you can start breaking those locks which is why I'm here at the headquarters of Cloudflare in San Francisco. So what we're looking at is a bunch of lava lamps. This is one way Cloudflare has gotten around this random problem. We videotape these lava lamps and take the pictures and the video and turn it into a stream of random unpredictable bytes. And this unpredictable data is what we use to help create the keys that encrypt the traffic that, that flow through Cloudflare's network. So what you can take from that is random is very important for cybersecurity. Investors often look to a CEO and their credentials when they're considering investing in a company. Francis Bolito has over 35 years of international experience in cybersecurity, healthcare, and financial industries. He was appointed CEO of Quantum Emotion in January of 2020. 
From 2017 to 2014, he held several top executive positions in startup companies. Dr. Belito has served as a board member and director in more than 20 private and public companies. He holds an MBA and an MSc in pharmaceutical sciences and a PhD in sciences from the University of Geneva, Switzerland. He has also published over 40 original manuscripts and communications in peer-reviewed scientific journals. There is a, a very, you know, extraordinary, you know, I mean, uh, phenomenon in quantum physics is that you can, the quantum physics world is actually a world of probabilities. There is no, actually no deterministic in the mm. world of physics. Unlike our, we living here in classical physics, mm -hmm. uh, or certain, some people call it Newtonian physics or New Newton. And there is always a determinist, a determinism in, in the world we live. So you cannot create, you know, the quality of the encryption, you know, depends, for example, you know, one again, you know, be too technical on the quality of the random numbers that seed, random numbers that seed the encryption. Mm. The more random they are, the better is the encryption. Unfortunately, today we cannot use, uh, you know, random numbers. They are pseudo random numbers because we use uh, algorithm in your computer to generate these numbers. So anything is generated by an algorithm, it cannot be random by definition. So the only way so say, okay, so why don't you just get them these random, pure random <laughs> numbers? Well, unfortunately, you cannot get it, but using quantum physics. Mm -hmm. And this is how makes our difference here. We have a quantum random generator that is unique because it's based on the, the a, a phenomenon like the quantum tunneling effect, electron effect that actually, you know, basically seamlessly integrated to electronics, you know, and and uh, we are unique. You have four patents for that. So we own that space, you know, and the most important one, completely by coincidence, a month ago, when they announced the Nobel Prize of Physics, the, they granted the Nobel Prize of Physics to the quantum tunnel effect. Hmm. Thanks, but can you tell us how qu what quantum tunneling is? So this is another one of these sort of features of quantum mechanics that arises from the fact that these things are kind of waves and probability functions. Yeah. So if, if you have um, if you have an electron just traveling through space, hitting hitting a wall, let's say, there's a little wave wave packet wave function to it. So it's not a single particle. It has some extent to it. And what happens is that when that particle hits the wall, quantum mechanics say there is some amount, small amount of this wave function, or if you like, the particle going through the wall and then to the other side. Now, most right. of the time it, uh, it bounces off, but every once in a while it goes through. And, right. you know, this is seen in um, uh, everyday devices. This is not, and it's, if you build very small um, uh, memory circuit. You have to worry about electrons tunneling and uh, charge leaking off your capacitor. Uh, they have magnetic memories that depend on these tunnel junctions. So this is a very well-known phenomenon. If you make the, this barrier, this insulator, just the, you know, 10, 20 atoms thick, then that's thin enough for it to go through. To get through. So we actually had Francis Belito, the CEO of Quantum Emotion, on the show not too long ago, and there was a lot of great information in that interview. I'll put the thumbnail on the screen, but I do recommend you go and watch the full interview. Also, Francis has done a recent interview on the New York Stock Exchange, and I, in full disclosure, I'm a big investor into Quantum Emotion. I know how hard random is. I know how important it is to cryptography and cybersecurity. So I took a position when this was a dollar stock and the stock has been moving a lot. So it begs the question, is this a good time to make a position or enter a stock? And I need to be very clear with all anyone who's watching this, whether you're a subscriber or not, when you're looking at a stock that has moved so much, there is a lot of risk of profit taking, of corrections and downside to entering into a stock that is 
still getting its legs under it. Despite its promising technology, Quantum Emotion is a very high risk speculative investment. There are pre-revenue and there's financial uncertainty. There's a big technological and execution risk. Developing cutting edge hardware is not guaranteed to succeed at scale. QEM must ensure its QRNG chips can be manufactured reliably at scale and integrated easily into customer systems. Competition and market adoption risk is real. While QEM currently has a unique public profile, the competitive landscape in quantum security is evolving. Larger companies could enter the QRNG space or develop alternative approaches. For instance, tech giants like IBM, Google, or Intel might integrate QRNG capabilities into their hardware or cloud offerings negating the need for a small third-party supplier. In the cybersecurity realm, companies specializing in PQC algorithms, post-quantum cryptography, might attract the budgets that QEM is aiming for. Additionally, customer adoption could be slow. Many industries have yet to feel the pressing need for quantum proof of security. There's also regulatory and policy risks, execution and partnership reliability. And there's stock volatility and liquidity risk. QEM stock has been extremely volatile, which in itself is a factor. The share price rocketed from penny stock levels to several dollars from 2024 to 2025, then saw sharp corrections along the way. In summary, QEM faces substantial risks. Its high valuation is not backed by fundamentals yet, but the technology is promising. So one of the unique opportunities with quantum emotion is their unique quantum technology and their intellectual property moat. QEM is one of the only public companies focused on quantum safe randomness generations. Its flagship QRNG2 chip uses quantum electron tunneling to output high entropy random numbers at high speed. And it was the same effect that won the Nobel Prize in 2025. Let's talk about quantum emotions technology. So quantum emotion has a quantum random number generation, QRNG, electron-based tunneling technology for generating true quantum entropy, miniaturizable and truly unpredictable entropy for cryptographic security. It generates true quantum randomness at 1.8 gigabits per second, electron-based tunneling, not photonic, compact and embeddable, miniaturizable into standard microelectronics, delivers highest quality entropy for encryption keys, resistant to prediction, modeling and side channel attacks. In their post-quantum cryptography, they have NIST approved PQC algorithms strengthened by QRNG entropy. They support hybrid deployment with classical cryptographic layers and designed for communications. On the integration side, they have specifications including system on a chip integrating QRNG and PQC at silicon level, hardware IP, cold hot wallets, and physical unclonable functions. Advantage, at the hardware level, they have tamper resistance and trust verification, portable, embeddable, and low-cost manufacturing on CMOS. And we're on the About page right now, which does a good job of explaining how Quantum Emotion is built on the groundbreaking research of Professor Bertrand Roulet, one of the world's foremost quantum physicists at the University of Sherbrooke. His Pioneering work in quantum noise and electron tunneling phenomena, where particles can unpredictably pass through barriers, sparked a breakthrough. The ability to generate true, unpredictable randomness at unprecedented speeds. That scientific leap became quantum emotions intellectual property. So they have a patented method for generating randomness using quantum effects. They use proprietary circuitry capable of self-testing and fault detection. They've miniaturized this QRNG design that can be combined directly onto chips and integrated into almost any device or platform. From this foundation, Quantum Emotion evolved from a single technology startup into a comprehensive cybersecurity company for the quantum era. They have high throughput QRNG hardware, entropy as a service, critical infrastructure security, century Q and quantum secure wallets. Quantum Emotion is more than a technology provider. They position themselves as a cybersecurity partner helping enterprises, governments, and innovators secure their future against the looming threat of quantum powered cyber attacks. In simple terms, Quantum Emotion turns the unpredictable motion of electrons into unbeatable security. QEM finalized its first generation QRNG chip design, submitted it to TSMC, and highlighted its greater than one gigabits entropy output. They demonstrated hardware maturity and potential chip level integration into devices. 
They had a major milestone in October with their Energy Plug pre-order. This partner with Energy Plug announced a pre-order for 20 units of 261 kilowatt hour hybrid energy storage system co-developed with QEM and Seedle. This provided market validation for QEM's quantum secured battery systems and early revenue prospects in the energy sector. In November of 2025, Castle Quantum Secured Hot Wallet was announced. QEM and Crown Technologies launched Castle, the first hot wallet, using QEM's entropy as a service in post-quantum cryptography. They partnered with Graybox Solutions and Vigilant Care Monitoring to launch the first reimbursed remote patient monitoring chronic care management platform using QEM's Quantum Secure Sentry Q and uses QEM's Entropy Engine to ensure HIPAA compliant protection. This opens a US revenue stream in healthcare and combines quantum security with value-based care and federal reimbursements. So let's take a look at the stock chart and kind of what this stock has been doing. And of course, this is an OTC stock. It's not yet listed on the NASDAQ, so there's some extra caution that investors need to have here. But if we go back in to December, of 2024, the stock was trading at 10 cents a share. It went all the way to $1.72 a share, and it went down to 30 cents a share, and then kind of just traded there until they had their TSMC announcement where it jumped up to $1.41, came back down, and there has been a lot of volatility in the stock. So it's gone down to 70 cents and then moved up to $3.70 and then back down 58% to $1.56. And most recently, they had another run of 170%. So the story here is the stock can move in either direction violently and it can move very quickly. So abundance of caution is needed when considering quantum emotion. Now, I'm personally excited and I'm a long term investor in this technology. I'm very excited about the company, very excited about the CEO. And I think this company is going to do great. That's my personal opinion, but that's not necessarily what will happen. Quantum Emotion offers a neutral yet informative case study in balancing groundbreaking potential with significant risk. On the opportunity side, QEM stands at the cutting edge of an important emerging field. Its quantum random number generators and quantum safe solutions address a growing cybersecurity need as the world braces for quantum computing threats. The company's strong cash position, patent portfolio, and flurry of partnerships spanning fintech, defense, healthcare, and more give it multiple avenues to succeed. If management executes well, early investors could see outsized rewards from QEM's first mover advantage in the massive markets that may unfold in the next decade. If you would like to support the quantumbull.com and the Quantum Bull YouTube channel, I do have YouTube memberships here. Each of them has exclusive perks. The Gold Bull membership gets you into our Discord with trade alerts, and we have a lot of fun over there. So I invite you.